My name is Rita Bordlick. My husband is 91 years old and he was fine. He started getting dementia just before COVID struck. Steve was always had congregation responsibilities, circuit responsibilities. He was very active. We, we were praying about what we should do and then we learned about Legacy Place. We didn't know about it prior to that. As close as we lived to here, we didn't know about it. So I personally feel Jehovah gave us the direction that we should go in. The thing is, it's not just that we're being helped physically, but more importantly, we're being kept alive spiritually. And that's the most important thing. Initially, these territories have, um, we have endeavored to reach them by phone. It's not always possible. Uh, in fact, very few are at home, but we're able to leave a pretty um, good uh, voicemails. Now we have here at Legacy, we are blessed that we have uh, three groups for telephone witnessing. So um, we uh, do then condense it to the point where those that we cannot reach by telephone, then they are reached by mail. Uh, we try to average about 30 letters a month. So the building that we're currently in is our memory care building. So this building is designed for to be a home to our residents that have a little bit later stages of maybe dementia or Alzheimer's. So they have progressed to the point where they need to be in a more secure setting. So in this side, you'll notice it's about half as big as the other side, about half as many residents, same amount of care staff. So they get more attention and more one-on-one -on -one care in this building. Of course, we care for all their physical needs, their uh, medications, all of their meals are prepared and um, served in this building. But we also still have a variety of activities, both spiritual and other activities for the residents in this building that are designed to meet their current cognitive levels and needs so that they still feel content, happy, and as you can see, it's still made to feel like home. Our brothers and sisters are writing letters. They're so zealous. They love to be in the ministry. They're a bit limited in what they can do. So this is what they enjoy on, on a morning when it's raining or when they can't be out. They're writing letters to people in their territory. My name is Sabra Bonner and I am the activities director here at Legacy Place. They're at an age where they've never experienced this age before. They're, they're, there's challenges that come along with the, the age, the mature age that they are. So they, we're here to help them with those challenges. Um, emotionally, psych socially, psychologically, whatever that requires. So a lot of these um, mature ones that live here have had a very full spiritual life and they want to stay spiritually active. So um, that's very important to them. So we work very hard to help them to stay, to stay active, continue making the meetings, continue going in field service, um, teaching. They love to teach the Bible. So continue to give them those opportunities, however we can do that. I enjoy being a part of this letter writing because I'm limited in what I can do in the door-to-door -door work. So this gives me a great satisfaction that I am able to be a part of this letter writing. This is a home. This is not a facility. It's a home. And people feel like they are a resident of a home. And that is advantageous when it comes to the mental and emotional health of a person because they feel like they're in a home. Another advantage for me personally is the is knowing that my father is safe and that gives great peace of mind to me. My wife and I cover the treasures from God's Word 
and the spiritual gem each week that we have from our workbook. And the friends enjoy it for the most part because they're prepared. They've read ahead, they understand the information, and they have something to add to it. And we can just relate to the friends. We love the friends, they've known us for years, and uh, we all have a spiritual and heritage that we enjoy sharing with each other. And uh, iron sharpens iron, we find that all the time. I just feel, uh, you know, when we're hearing their expressions, we're tapping into, with the, as a group, hundreds of years of experience of serving Jehovah. And it shows th these friends are older, they're limited, but they're happy. They have such a joy um, at giving their expressions and their comments and their experiences that it, it can't help but give us that same joy back, even in greater measure. We leave here floating, we really do. When we leave here, because we've been with our friends, I know some of these brothers and sisters for years in the truth and others just since they've come here, but to hear their expressions, their love for Jehovah, it fires me up. Like, I want to be like them. I want to be as faithful as they are under any circumstances. The people here, they've dedicated so many years to Jehovah and they have done so much spiritually themselves and so I admire them and I look at them as spiritual pillars and spiritual giants and they have paved the way for a lot of us and now it brings me great joy and pleasure to be able to, to help them in any little way that I can. I think it's just such a wonderful, wonderful place, wonderful cause. And we love these brothers and sisters and whatever can make their life easier, I think why not? Why wouldn't you do that?